Hi again. So, in this video, we will learn how can we calculate the exact value of the E number uh, to any decimal place we want. Of course, the more places uh, after the comma, uh, the, uh, uh, the more places after the dot, uh, the more work we will have to uh, put into this, but of course it's always possible. And what I want you to remember from this is the algorithm that works behind this calculation. And this is the same algorithm uh, that calculators are using. Now, how does it work? Well, it is based on Maclaurin series with our mind. Okay. I hope you remember that we covered both Maclaurin and Tyler series in Introduction to Economic Analysis. If you don't remember how they work, uh, there will be links below this uh, in the description of this video where you can find detailed description of Maclaurin series. Just in, in here, let me just remind you how, how does it work. Look, Basically, the entire idea is that we can use Maclaurin series in order to expand any function into a polynomial function of the following form. And how do we do it? So, if we have some function f of x, then we calculate the polynomial as value of this function at zero divided by 0 factorial, which is of course 1, plus first derivative divided by 1 factorial, which is 1, times x. Then we would have second derivative evaluated at 0, divided by 2 factorial, x squared, and so forth. So the next element would be the third derivative divided by uh, 3 factorial times x and of course we go on like this until uh, n derivative which we divide by n factorial and multiply by x n. But of course this bit will never be perfect. So we will have a difference, a reminder. This will be the difference between actual value of the function at a given point and uh, and the function that we will obtain using Maclaurin series. Now, here we have the formula that is called Lagrangian form of the reminder. And why is this important? Because if we have a limit with uh, n approaching infinity, uh, Rn is equal to zero, then we can use this transformation without being worried uh, that, uh, that in general form our formula will work. Okay, so now how do we use it to calculate it? Well, first we need to define the function. Our function is y equals f of x. It's simply e to the power of x. And as you, as I hope you all remember, <coughs> e to the power of x has a very simple derivative because it is e to the power of x. We will be talking about derivatives of exponential and logarithmic functions in much detail a little bit later, but for now, uh, let's just remember the derivative of e to the power of x is just e to the power of x. And look, what does it mean? We need to take this formula and apply it here. But what does it mean? So, but from what we said, we can conclude that f of 0 is equal to f prime of 0 is equal to f of 0 and is equal to f because all derivatives of e to the power of x are the same. They are e to the power of x, which 
which in our case e to the power of 0 1 and this result is very good because of course as you can see our calculations will be extremely easy to perform ok so what do we have here our function is e to the power of x now let's use Maclaurin's formula to uh, to expand it ok so we are getting 1 divided by 1 
So, which part is interesting for us? Of course, we want to know what is E, right? So, we should just substitute X with Y. Now, what are we going to get then? We're getting this. E to the power of 1 is just E. And we've got 1 instead of plus 1, x to the power of 3, 1, 1, 1, x to the power of n, 1. So look, the only thing left, we will have 1 over 2 factorial plus 1 over 3 factorial plus until 1 over n factorial. And now look, out of this, we already gained 2 very bad approximation of E. But, look, with each consecutive number over here, we will get one additional element. And now, with these additional elements, we will be getting bigger and bigger numbers. But look, those additional elements are getting smaller and smaller and smaller. This is 1 over 2, right? This is 1 over 6. Well, they are still big. We are at 2 and a half here. Here, um, so here we are slowly approaching 2.72. Look, if we have 1, uh, 5 factorial, this is the same as 1 times 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5. This gives us 20 times 6. Just 1 over 120. So you see, each consecutive next number is going to be smaller and smaller and smaller. So, if we want to know, uh, if we want to approximate uh, E number on our own, all we have to do is to calculate sufficient enough number of elements. And look, as it turns out, once we are at uh, at this point we've got almost perfect approximation of E. But if you feel that this approximation is simply not sufficient for your purposes, all you gotta do is to add another component like this. And by adding component, further components, we will get better and better uh, approximation. Okay, thank you and see you in the next video.